Today I'm going to be talking about this book, The Gift of Fear, The Gift of Fear by Gavin Becker. Uh, this book uh, was written in 1997. So this book was written in 1997, and uh, it's a little dated, but you, you can't really tell from the content too much. I wish uh, it had more to say about uh, some more uh, current events, but uh, it's a great book and the content kind of holds up. Um, this book was recommended to me by my uh, Krav uh, Maga instructor, uh, Moshe Katz, and um, I kind of put it off after he had mentioned it for a couple of years, but I wrote the name down and finally I got it and, and I'm glad I did. It's a it's a good book and it taught me quite a bit. And since then, I've talked to some of my other uh, martial arts instructors and they all said, oh yeah, yeah, I know that book and they all read it and, and, and enjoyed it too. So it's a good book. It's a good book for uh, martial artists to have or just anybody uh, looking to protect themselves or the family. Um, so the book basically talks about recognizing threats by following your instinct, your gut instinct, your feeling, your intuition, instead of, um, you know, logic. So following your feelings of what you're feeling inside, even though it's not necessarily logical. And um, sometimes logic talks us out of it, like, oh, it's probably not a big deal. You know, I know I'm feeling that I must just be overreacting or something like that. And then it leads down the road to that person uh, getting in trouble or getting hurt or something like that. So, and uh, for my background, um, I think it's in working in psychology, mental health, things like that, working with, uh, you know, people who've come out of jail, things like that. I And um, some of the victims of them. Uh, I think it comes from the, you know, our subconscious. It's it's in our consciousness, but it's kind of below our, our um, you know, awareness. And we have feelings about it, but we don't really have conscious thought about it. So, and that always is quicker because it takes longer to think than it does to react from our feelings. And that's why I think we get angry quicker and we don't stop it with logic because the emotions come first and the thinking comes after or later. So anyway, following that gut instinct when you feel fear, it's he calls it, you know, the gift of fear. We have this gift of fear and it talks about what to do with it. And, you know, in martial arts, many martial arts just teach just physical techniques. They teach just, uh, you know, moves to do when you're attacked. But there's a lot of things that happen before that. And if you're smart, those are the things you pay attention to most. And a lot of martial arts schools don't address those. So we're using uh, foresight instead of hindsight. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a knowing what to do before we really think about it and following that instinct and um, using that to keep us safe. It talks specifically about uh, locations like work in the workplace, um, you know, certain indicators to look out for uh, to keep you safe. Uh, it talks about domestic violence. It talks about children who become violent. It talks about violence against people people who are in the public eye. And um, toward the end, it talks kind of about the difference between worry and fear. And, um, you know, that they're not the same thing. Uh, that you want to feel the fear and uh, not necessarily walk around worried all the time. So this book... The Gift of Fear, a great book for anybody in the martial arts, a great book for martial arts teachers who are teaching self-defense. It's a great book for all the people in your life uh, who just want to get through life safely and live their life. Because remember, you can't have a good life if you're injured, if you're dealing with PTSD, if you're dead. So read the book, The Gift of Fear, Gavin DeBecker. Great book, great content, and uh, I think you'll learn a lot from it. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep some more things coming out.